a rocket launch 10 years in the making. After years of delays, we are now finally just two hours away from Blue Origin's own rocket, one of the world's largest and most powerful, lifting off from our space coast. This is the new Glenn, named after legendary astronaut John Glenn, standing vertical at Launch Pad 36 at the Cape Canaveral Space Force Station. Liftoff at this point is set for 1 a.m. Good evening to you. I'm Eric Von Aiken. Glad you're with us on this Sunday night. We have been counting the days and the delays waiting for New Glenn to fly, built by Blue Origin, owned by the world's second richest person, Jeff Bezos. And tonight's test flight is huge because the New Glenn will be the first real competition to SpaceX's near monopoly on the commercial space industry. Our Space Coast correspondent, James Barvera, has been following the development of this new heavy lift rocket. James, the mission managers, went ahead with fueling this mega rocket. So this is the closest we have gotten yet. Yeah, it's really amazing, Eric. So 10 years ago, as you mentioned, you were out here at Cape Canaveral, then Air Force Station, when Jeff Bezos made the big announcement, showed us, pulled back the curtain, what New Glenn could look like. And then here we are right now, as I go out to the beach, and I show you this wonderful view from Cherry Down Park in Cape Canaveral. People are already coming out to the beach a couple hours away because they've been looking at this launch pad now, Eric, for about five years without a rocket there. And now with this 320 foot tall New Glenn there, it's just about as tall as NASA's SLS. Everybody just can't wait for this rocket to take off, hopefully for the first time, finally tonight. And as we've also reported, Eric, what makes New Glenn unique, it was built here too, just a few miles away tonight. I had the privilege for the first time being invited inside Blue Origin's New Glenn Rocket Factory. That's where I got to speak with CEO Dave Limp. He took over as CEO about two years ago. So he's been working towards this moment ever since then. I asked him a little bit about the pressure and the competition. Take a listen. Obviously, there's lots of things that have to go right to, to make this happen. And, uh, but I, I, I'd say I'm very confident of getting to orbit. What's the pressure been like to get off the ground? The amount of rockets that launched here last year that weren't SpaceX rockets, you could count on just one hand. Uh, I'm confident we've made progress. We've got a lot to do, obviously, in, 20, in 2025, but uh, I have a smile on my face. Got to see the rocket factory floor where Dave Limp told me they've got about two more boosters in production and six or seven upper stages of Dew Glen. And by the way, from the factory floor, they had a live picture of the rocket. But you don't even have to be that close. You can be anywhere up and down the beach, guys. I saw the pad yesterday from South Patrick Shores. That's about 20 miles away. So this is going to be spectacular. Really, the beach's launch pad. And Eric, their main objective is to get to orbit, as you heard Mr. Limp say. It will be a bonus, icing on the cake, as they put it, if they can land that booster. This rocket, like SpaceX rockets, it will be reusable. Yeah, very much so, James. They would really like to stick that landing on the drone ship out in the Atlantic a few minutes after launch, much like SpaceX does. In fact, SpaceX is the only player in the industry that does it so far, except you remember this. It took a bunch of tries for SpaceX to figure it out and get it right without the booster blowing up as it hit that drone ship out there in the ocean. It's a great point, and of course, SpaceX, they landed the booster on land first and in the ocean itself before they landed it on their drone ship for the first time, which has been about nine years ago now almost. So we asked Limp about that, and he talked about how they do have experience with booster landings because, Eric, think about their new Shepard rocket. That's the tourist rocket that's out in Texas. Mm -hmm. They fly that up. It only goes straight up and straight down, but they do land it. And New Glenn is much bigger of a booster, but they were confident. And he said, by the way, if we don't do it the first time, like he showed us on the factory floor, they've got more boosters lined up to try again next time. The space company, James, owned by the world's second richest man tonight, going up against the space company owned by the world's 
first richest man, Elon Musk, of course. Space, space like nerds the like the Rockefellers and Carnegies of our time. Here you go. Huh? And space nerds like you and me and so many other people on the Space Coast. Very excited tonight, James. Thank you so much. We're looking forward to this now, about one hour and 55 minutes away. The launch window opens at one, like we said. It closes at four. It seems Blue Origin is aiming for the top of the window. James will be out there. I will be in here in this chair. We're going to bring you full coverage on air on our YouTube channel and on our website, clickorlando.com. And if you want even more, SpaceX announced earlier today they're getting in on the fun. They got a Falcon 9, that's a much smaller rocket than the new Glenn, set to launch tomorrow morning just after 10, sending up another batch of Starlink satellites. 